Boeing researcher and WikiLeaks co-author Suzette, Suzette Dreyfus, American conservative commentator Daniel Pipes. The question was, uh, well, bluntly put, has America's internal <laughs> instability overtaken Islamic extremism as the greatest threat well, to well, its national security? Uh, yeah. I, d I don't know that it's overtaken extremism, but I would say that the US is, at, is I think, at a crisis point. I mean, it's become a surveillance state. You know, the, the NSA is intercepting 1.7 billion emails and uh, telephone and other communications. Um, people don't have the privacy that they had 10 or 15 years ago, average American citizens. And, you know, I think the reason that leaking, leaks publishing, things like WikiLeaks, uh, have really resonated with the population is because people are saying, well, you know, the, the regulators of democracy have failed us. And you do have corporate collapses because the regulators have failed us and the politicians have failed us. And all we can depend on is truth from the media as the last safeguard. So I, think it, I, I don't think it's quite to the degree of, uh, you know, ex extremism and, and, and terrorism, but I do think it's very serious. You know, I, I look with great sadness, um, I'm Australian-American, uh, at the US and, and great sadness of the fact that I see it entering a period of decline. And I think that's a bad thing for the world. Daniel Pipes. I also look at the United States with sadness as it enters a period of decline. But I have diametrically the opposite reason. It's not rapacious businesses going out. That's Without a regulation. <laughs> it is, on the contrary, overregulation. It is strangling. <laughs> strangling. Are you strangling, for real? <laughs> strangling the economy. We've uh, we heard a tweet come in from Michael Fullylove, which uh, goes to the intensity of politics in the US at the moment. Does Daniel Pipes still believe that Barack Obama was once a Muslim? <laughs> of course, of course. There's a lot of it. Now, let me stop it. Yeah, I, think I don't know what you're laughing at. I would like to make it clear that I'm not saying that he yeah. is a Muslim. I'm yeah. saying that he was a Muslim. And there's a lot of evidence from his father to his stepfather to his going to mosque, to his going to Quran class, to his knowing the Islamic prayers, to his, the testimony when of his sister. When he was six. Exactly. He was precisely. Who has control over their life when they're six? Excuse me. The question was, was he raised a Muslim? And I'm saying, yes, he was. Was that a problem? I don't know. I'm not <laughs> saying this? it's a problem. That's what good. I'm saying is a problem is the fact that he denies it and that he lies about his childhood religion. So that, that is a problem to me. Okay, so let Dreyfus to respond to that. I, I think it's just a, a hyped up excuse to throw mud at Barack Obama because he's on the other side of the political fence. I'm not saying there's anything there wrong is. with this being a Muslim. It's a, it's, it's a pedantic point that you argue, Excuse and you've me. argued in essays. It's a pedantic point, and the fact is, is that you know, he, he, Barack Obama goes to church on Sundays. He I makes do. a very visible case of it. He is, you know, a Christian. That's what his belief system is. And the fact that you're, you know, his mother ticked a box because he happened to be going to school in Indonesia when he was six years old. Really, I mean, that, that's just, that, see, that's just mischief making. 